Hello everyone, LD3 back with you for another video. Today we are back in the Newcastle career mode, and we are just starting out our second season here. It's July 1st, 2018. Um, we're just going to take a quick look at the squad just to see what is up. Clark is still injured, but I just put him back because we need to get back to that four in the back rotation. Um, one of the big miss mi misses here is Michael Marino, who went back to Dortmund on loan. But besides that, basically our entire group from last season is back. Um, we have Cruel, who was on loan, and we got him back. So he's going to be our backup goalkeeper for Jack Butlin. And I, pretty, I think he's a pretty solid backup goalkeeper, to be completely honest with you. But yeah, now it's just time to go in and make some transfers. I'm going to sim the preseason tournament. And one more thing I am going to do before we start anything is we are going to go and do our first financial takeover. Financial support by a way of a billionaire owner. Once redeemed, your budget will automatically be increased in your career, and you can only use this one per season. Or you can only use one financial takeover per season. So we're just going to do the level 10 financial takeover so we can get a little more money, maybe get a little more stuff there. We just used the financial takeover. Now let's see what our transfer budget is. Uh, we probably have to wait a day. That's the initial transfer budget. It's going to go up, so hopefully it does. And yeah, I'll let you guys know when there's any transfers or show you guys how we do in the preseason tournament. Okay, guys, so this is actually our third preseason game right now. Newcastle just beat Leverkusen 2-1. We won all three games in the group stage. So I'm pretty happy about that. We're going to be taking on Celta in the semifinals of the European International Cup. We got a little more transfer budget. And after looking at all that, here is our new transfer budget. That's including the takeover and the additional money we just got. So we have $102 million to spend as Newcastle. I will absolutely take it, so we haven't gotten anyone yet, but I will let you guys know when I do. Okay, so here's the semi-final of this preseason tournament auto replace the available players it really doesn't matter let's go and see if we can win this game we win 3-1 so we're moving on to the final that means a little more transfer budget and it gives us and it gives us more chance to get some good players okay and here is that final of that preseason tournament against Sassuolo I believe is how you pronounce it I'm probably way off but we're just going to sim this game. Hopefully we win. Can we go on and win this game? We win on penalties. Okay, so we win the preseason tournament. We get about an additional $6 million in total of transfer budget. So going back here, we're going to see the final transfer budget that we have. It's going to be about $108 million. It could probably go up and down depending on how much wage I give out. But... Yeah, we're scouting a few players, we're seeing what we can do, and we're going to go see if we can sign a few players now.
Okay, guys, so we just sold Rob Elliott, who was like our fourth string goalkeeper, for 1.3 million pounds. We got a little more transfer budget, not like it's going to mean anything, but just wanted to give you guys a quick update. We do have a lot of people shortlisted. I will give you guys the shortlist. I haven't officially um, bought anyone yet. So Johnny, Jonathan Todd, Christian Pulisic all moved already so or they moved within the last like two transfer windows or something so i'm not going to be able to get them i might be try to get these two at the next transfer window i'm not sure yet but we're looking at andrew robertson as possibly a left back replacement trent alexander arnold sort of like a prospect in a way and then we got a couple people over here like lucas hernandez juan pablo on martin odegaard and iago falke i believe all of them have great um all of them have great ways to possibly get into the club and be good. So we're going to look at those four players, possibly look at a couple more and see if we can maybe buy a few of them. Okay, guys, so it looks like we're about to sign Joel Matip from Liverpool. He's going to fit in right as our first center back. They, he wants a little more in a couple other places. I'm perfectly fine with that. We're going to sign Joel Matip. The financial takeover is already working beautifully. We're going to sign a, a first top-rated center back in the Premier League. He's going to come in. He's probably going to gain a couple overall in a couple places. And then we're gonna, he's gonna be great with Lejeune and be a great center back pair. And we're probably gonna get, I'm gonna try to go after Lucas Hernandez next, just so that we can have some good center back depth. And hopefully we can do that. Okay, guys, so like I just said, we are about to sign Lucas Hernandez. He's probably going to become our second center back by the end of the season, so I gave him the important first team role. And now we have some great depth at center back because we got Joel Matip, Lejeune, Lucas Hernandez, and Clark once he comes back from his ACL injury. So one of our weaknesses is one of our weaknesses has now turned into a strength. And now we're probably going to go after a right mid or a right winger next just to get a little better at that position, and we can have Matt Ritchie as a really good bench player. Okay, guys, so we are going to end this episode right here. Not a lot happened. We did win our first trophy of the season in our preseason tournament, so that's good. We also did get a couple players. We got Joel Matip. We got Lucas Hernandez. We're looking good on those fronts. Now our defense is looking really strong. Let's go take a look at the squad. I haven't put the players in yet, so you and I are going to do this together. We're going to put in right here. We're going to put in Joel Matip, and then Lucas Hernandez is going to go right here where dumb it is. And we have a pretty solid group right now in that back four. We got DeAndre Yedlin, Mankia, Lejeune, and Matip. I might go after a left back. I'm not sure. I'm also looking at a left mid because Christian Atsu is actually a right mid. 
So if I move him over to the right mid side, that side's better. And if we can get a better left mid, or yeah, better left mid, we should be looking good there. So this left side might need a little bit of work. But besides that, look at that squad. We got Santa Bria and Briel and Bolo both already going up one overall. John Joe Shelby going up. Iozzi Perez going up. Jack Butlin is Jack Butlin. We all know that. Tom Davies already going up one overall, so our bench is getting better. Everything's looking great. I'm loving how this team is turning out. But again, probably going to have to get maybe one player, maybe two players on the left side. I might, I'm trying to go after a big name signing. I'm trying to go after Marcus Rashford. Like, as you saw in the sim, Marcus Rashford's probably my top priority, so maybe I can get him at left mid, and we'll have a really good core right there. But I'm still not sure yet. I'm not sure where I'm going to go, but we are going to play the match against Burnley last time, who beat us in the FA Cup. So this is a going to be a very big match. Hopefully our new um, defensive signings can help us get us over the edge and beat Burnley in this Community Shield. But that is all going to be for next time so if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and drop it with a like go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more from me and i will see you guys with a new video real soon bye